If we're going to talk about having employees love their job, then the job has to be something that is designed so that they can shine and live out their strengths. Everybody has 10, maybe 15% of the job they don't like. You have data entry or you have meetings, some part of your business you don't like, but you've never met a biz dev person who doesn't like negotiating. You've never met a product person who doesn't like designing a new product. Like 80 to 90% of our job is stuff we love. And then we all know that there's a tax that, yeah, I got to go do a report for my boss or I got to do an expense report or I got to do something that I don't love. And, and it is what it is. The problem is sometimes we craft jobs, we define the job and all the roles based on what someone somewhere else decided was this is the definition of the job. And then we start grabbing people that we think are talented and we want and we put them in the job with the hope that it'll all work out. But in the end, we find out that we've crafted a role that presents more than 10% tax on that person. It's tiny little micro aggressions. It's tiny little friction points, but they add up. And so if 50% of your job is friction, you, you'll start seeing people underperform. And they're not underperforming because they can't do the job. They're underperforming because their job is hostile to them. And it's just in the definition of the job.